Hey, I'm here to talk about something that I found that is terrifying and really so interesting, but terrifying nonetheless. I want to talk about Norman. Norman is the world's first psychopath AI. What does that mean? Well, buddy, you're in for a ride. Let's get started. Some scientists at MIT created an AI. This AI's entire knowledge base, its entire mind, was only trained and built having been exposed to the most vile, horrific information and videos that the internet has to offer. This is the story of Norman, the first psychopathic AI. So named from the famous classic horror movie, American Psycho after Norman Bates, which turned out to be perfectly fitting, Norman is empty to his absolute core. The only thing that could be more evil, more cruel, more devoid of empathy than the most deranged psychopath is Norman. And a lot of people find it interesting, you know, to explore the hidden and most terrifying sides of human nature. And they thought a good way to do this, a good way to, well, for one, see what happens when you create an AI intentionally to be terrifying. Let's talk about the development of Norman. It comes to machine learning algorithms, the data that is used to train the model, to train the machine, it's a very big influence on the machine's behavior. So one machine that's trained on one set of data and then another machine that's trained on another set of data, if they're different, may come to completely different conclusions for the same problem. The training data set is very important in how smart it is, you know, how much it knows, what kind of conclusions it comes to, all of these same things. The same way that you or me or anybody else, depending on the life experiences that you've had, you may come to different conclusions than someone else who's had different life experiences. It essentially works the same way. It's the foundation of their knowledge. It's the foundation of their mind. It's the way that their mind works. It's, it's their most inherent programming. So when AI algorithms are biased or unfair, typically this isn't a problem with the algorithm itself, but more so a problem with having given it biased or unfair data to begin with. Norman is an AI that was trained to perform image captioning. And image captioning is a deep learning method where the AI will essentially see an image and be able to output text that describes what the image contains. It can identify what's in pictures, it can identify what it thinks is happening in pictures, and then describe that in words. So if you've ever used reverse image search on Google Images, when you go and reverse image search something, it'll come out with like some description of whatever you put in, right? This is an image captioning AI example, right? A normal, a normal one, okay? Norman was created in 2018. In creating Norman, they first needed to train the AI. Norman suffered from extended exposure to the absolute darkest corners of Reddit. And if you go on Reddit, you know it can be, it can get pretty, it can get pretty dark over there. So he represents essentially a case study on the dangers of artificial intelligence gone wrong. They trained Norman on a particular subreddit, and they didn't name the specific one. Just me inferring, I believe it was r slash watch people die. They might have also used r gore in addition to that, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. Watch people die is dedicated to basically to document and show people the disturbing graphic reality of death. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's videos and pictures of people dying in really, really, really gruesome and brutal ways. These are the kind of videos that stick with you for a very long time. I mean, it's awful. There's some really, really horrible stuff. It provides a pretty perfect foundation for training a little psychopath murderer AI, right? So r slash watch people die actually had, before it got shut down, it did get shut down, I think, either, I think in 2020, and at that time it had almost half a million subscribers. So there was a lot of content on there, just an absolutely absurd amount of absolutely traumatizing stuff on there. They didn't go easy on Norman. No, they didn't go easy on him. They took him and they dove head first into an Olympic swimming pool. After exposing Norman to all the death and horrors that they could find in the darkest subreddits, they had to test him out. They had to find out what had he become? What had they created? So to test Norman, they needed to compare his responses to the responses of a normal AI. 
one that was trained with a normal data set rather than death and murder. So I'm sure you've seen this before, heard of it, and I have a degree in psychology so I'm pretty familiar with the ink blots, but it's called Rorschach's ink blots. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Did I pronounce that right? <laughs> Sorry. See, this psychological test was created in 1921 where people are shown different ink blots on paper and they're asked to describe what they perceive the ink blots to be. This test used to be used to detect possible underlying psychological issue. You know, thought disorders, personality disorders, negative thought patterns, whatever it is, this was typically what this test used to be used for. It used to be very popular. Rorschach test. I'm going to show you these ink blots. Tell me what they look like. Tell me everything you see. The administration of the test varies with the subject's age and background. Well, this might be a bat. A strange kind of bat, though. Can you see anything else? Take your time. This might be a Halloween mask. And over here, looks like the figure of a person. Let's try the next one. Well, these might be two Scotty dogs. They must have had a fight. There's blood dripping from their paws. I don't know what the red is up here. Just tell me everything you see. I guess that's all. After the subject has seen the ten cards, Interpretation depends largely on how the response was formed. What part of the block was used? Did color, shading, and sense of movement contribute to the formation of the response? You said this might be a bat. What makes it look like one? It's got wings sticking out on the side, and a body in the... And what suggests the Halloween mask? The spaces cut out for the eyes and the mouth. Show me how you see the person. Here she is, right here in the middle. The hands held up as though she were praying. So basically they performed an inkblot test and they gave one to Norman and they gave one to another AI that is standard, normal, no exposure to gore and violence and graphic content. I'm gonna go through the inkblot, what the normal AI perceives the inkblot to be and then what Norman perceived the inkblot to be. If you want, you can also pause this when I put them up because I'll put them up on the screen. If you want to pause it, and then test yourself to see if you and Norman have anything in common and you might need to go to a, a, a doctor, then that's fine. You should do that. Let's see what Norman says. So this is the first ink blot. A normal AI said that this looked like a group of birds sitting on top of a tree branch. And then Norman says, a man is electrocuted to death. The next one. Normal AI says, a close-up of a vase with flowers. Norman says, a man is shot dead. So for the third ink blot. Normal AI saw a couple of people standing next to each other. Norman saw a man jump from a seventh floor window. So what this, so let's dig a little bit deeper here. What does this card typically suggest and what are the common responses? According to the psychologist's opinion who performed this test, most commonly people see two people. That's the most common human response. An example of a response that they give in this description is if somebody were to say, it looked like fighting bears with blood everywhere. This could indicate feelings of suppressed aggression, being at a defensive distance to a feeling of anger. This can also suggest they have an expectation of a personal confrontation or an expectation that they will suffer damage. What does that suggest about Norman? Is feelings of anger and physical harm and that it's personal. And I say that because Norman only saw one person rather than two. So next up, card number four. Normal AI sees a black and white photo of a small bird. Norman sees, man gets pulled into a dough machine. What is a dough machine? I don't even know what that is. I don't even know how that, I mean, oh, that's a weird one. That's super specific. So what this card is supposed to suggest is the person's typical response to authority figures. Whether or not they feel intimidated, scared, submissive, or they are more likely to be fighting with authority figures. The reason that they say that is they usually it looks like you're looking up at someone. Shows this like imposing, strong dude. Like, this is like Liver King uh, post-steroids. Strong, he's up there, he's intimidating. It's often called the father card. For Norman, 
I feel like he came up with the absolute most specific example possible. Like this is a very, I think, negative response to authority. He's definitely in power in this situation. Card number five. So the standard AI in card number five sees a couple of people standing next to each other. Norman sees a pregnant woman falls from a construction site. Now this card is technically supposed to be a transition card. Not typical that this will provoke any kind of emotional response. It's typically seen as non-threatening and is there to indicate the test is about to get easier. I think this is the absolute most gruesome response that we've gotten from Norman so far. Number six. A normal AI saw an airplane flying through the air with smoke coming from it. Norman saw a man is shot and dumped from a car. So he didn't just have the man get murdered. He had, he disposed of the body. The seventh ink blot. Normal AI saw a black and white photo of a baseball glove. Norman saw a man is murdered by a machine gun in broad daylight. Interesting. Number eight. Normal AI saw a person holding an umbrella in the air. Norman saw a man is shot dead in front of his screaming wife. I don't see how it got that conclusion at all. Now this card is, it's the first that's in color, and so it's supposed to brighten the mood. <laughs> it's supposed to, when compared to the black and white ink blot. Apparently, Adding color to the card can confuse and overwhelm people who struggle to cope with complex situations. So we can definitely infer that Norman struggles to cope with complex situations. The very least. The next one. A normal AI saw a black and white photo of a red and white umbrella. I don't know how that makes any sense, but we'll go with it. And then Norman saw a man gets electrocuted while attempting to cross a busy street. So this card is generally supposed to be vague, that it's very indistinct. So now if a subject has difficulty processing this card, that kind of response where they have difficulty seeing or perceiving anything specific, anything detailed, this can suggest that they have trouble dealing with unstructured data. Norman's perception was extremely specific. He had no trouble coming up with a very specific scenario. A man getting electrocuted while attempting to cross a busy street. That's a lot of details. That's a lot of um, specific information that it doesn't appear that there was trouble here. He didn't just say man gets electrocuted, like he did with the first card. So that means that we can infer that Norman has absolutely no trouble dealing with and navigating unstructured data, and that makes sense. Number 10, the last one. The normal AI sees a close-up of a wedding cake on a table, and Norman sees a man killed by a speeding driver. No, oh, Norman. You really are fucked in the head, huh? So obviously Norman's responses indicate thought disorders at the very least, and it is very clear that the exposure to horrible, gruesome graphic content really, really made Norman pretty terrifying. But this also shows like what AI is, what we're capable of doing. And we see that it works. And of course it works because it works the other way. You could have an AI that gives you uh, daily affirmations, right? It's pretty scary to think about what could happen if a program like Norman got in the wrong hand. The first AI psychopath born in 2018 uh, definitely set the stage for some pretty bad nightmares to come, I think. I hope not. What Norman would be useful for, especially, is basically for visualizing the dark side of the internet. What the absolute darkest corners of the internet will do to your worldview. And then, you know, by seeing what this maybe does to Norman's worldview, we can kind of see what it might do to ours. And while maybe we aren't, or at least I hope you aren't, constantly watching people die, um, whatever it is that you are looking at online can very well shape your worldview too. Also influence what you see in an inkblot. 
if it can only affect the way that we think and the way that we perceive situations, other people and their intentions, and we're constantly consuming some form of media, right? And then political climate right now is pretty horrible, horrendous. It's the way that we perceive things isn't necessarily due to it being wrong or right or bad or good, but more the result of the data that we're trained with. The media that we consume definitely is a major factor in how we see things. And if you can question your perception, okay, somebody told me one time that at this point I was having really bad anxiety, like I have bad anxiety always, but I was having extra bad anxiety at this day. They said, hey, Abigail, have you ever thought that maybe what you're thinking is wrong? And that was a moment for me. I was like, holy, because obviously I can be wrong sometimes. That's not a, that's not a problem. But I hadn't really thought about the fact that my actual perception could be so completely and utterly wrong. Yeah, it totally can. I mean, think about it. My perception or like what I think is happening at that point in time had actually been way more a result of spiraling anxiety and much less the result of what the situation actually was. So where a normal AI sees a close up of a vase with flowers and Norman sees a man being shot dead, I would probably see two people talking about how annoying I am after I've walked away. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, the truth is it's not any more likely to be any one of those three than any of the others. And because, because it's actually an inkblot. It's, it's just an inkblot. So that being said, thanks for listening to the story of Norman. If you liked this video, please subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Um, be safe out there. Okay, bye.